everybody how are we all doing i thought we could have some real girl chat this morning i've asked you guys for some questions on instagram and i thought i would answer them whilst putting on my makeup and giving you a kind of beauty makeup update because i've been getting a few questions on what my makeup routine is at the moment so i thought we just kind of do a bit of everything all in one go so i'm starting off with foundation which actually this is not the order i normally do it so i'm going a bit backwards today but that's okay. This is the YSL Touche Claire foundation. I recently went back to it just because I was kind of in between foundation colours and I knew this one matched this time last year and lo and behold it matches again this time this year. This is obviously just my late spring colour. Just taking that down my neck but this is actually one of my all-time favourite foundations. I will never not own this. It just looks so good whenever I look at vlogs and I'm like oh I wonder what's on my skin because I look great. It's always this foundation. Like I don't actually look great it's just this foundation. Sometimes as I get a bit darker in the summer, I mix it with a darker one, but this is shade B45. I think I then move up to B50 for summer or mix with my much darker one, which is like way too dark. I use it as like a bronzer. So yeah, that is my foundation at the moment. And then in terms of questions, is this gonna be a nightmare bouncing between makeup and questions? Maybe. I will link all the makeup that I use in the info box below just in case I miss anything. Okay, I am going to get started with the first question whilst doing my absolutely insane little correcting hack using my rare beauty brush i'll bring you in a bit closer so to start off with i've got a lot of questions on tattoos and piercings am i getting any more what are my plans and i'm just going to put it out there it's just not on the cards i have literally zero passion for it at the moment it's not at that place in my life it's not like something that i appreciate them but i just don't have a massive interest or passion for them right now so yeah no tattoo or piercings planned and it's literally every time i get a q a i get so many questions on it and i feel like it must be so disappointing because I'm just not there and I know a lot of people followed a long time ago for tattoo and piercing inspiration but it's literally like the thing I think about probably the absolute least. If you want any more info on them there are so many videos on my channel so I will link them in the info box if that is your vibe. Wow. That correct it really does work so i use the rare beauty blush enjoy and then i use the bobby brown corrector in the shade light peach and they work so well together my inner corners are so gray some of you really went in with like some influencery type questions so i'm gonna answer them very honestly someone asked are you still with gleam lots of influencers seem to be going it alone nowadays and i would completely agree i think for a lot of creators when you get to this is the charlotte tilbury lipton in santa euphoria by the way when you get to like a certain amount of earnings what you're getting from the company starts being less than what you would get if you spent that same amount on your in-house team so that's why a lot of people leave but on the flip side if you're under a certain earning amount you get more from the agency than you would if you were spending that amount of money on your in-house team so that's why a lot of people do it i don't because i am very happy with one my manager that i have i'm really happy with the setup i don't feel the need to change that but also i don't like the responsibility personally for me and my mental health i don't want the responsibility of having so many employees under my roof like it is a lot when you know that there are like half financial times coming you want to make sure everyone is paid well paid fairly gets the best out of like the working situation and to do that across multiple people is really really difficult and it's a lot of pressure it's a lot of strain on one person mentally especially when the job is essentially like the influencer is the face the whole face so there's not a lot that you can really hand over you can't be sick and then hand your on-camera work over or your in-person meeting that you have to be at over or your pitch that you have to be at over to someone else yes you can have people that like do certain bits but when you are the brand there's a certain amount of pressure when you have like multiple employees that you're then if you were sick for a long period of time you are then kind of worried about yourself the fact that you're sick for a longer period of time the work's not getting done the content's not being created and then you also have like multiple salaries to be paying out for and if you're not doing the creation then some of your people in some of their job roles aren't able to do their job and it starts to like halt so some people love having an in-house team they love being busy they like really thrive off of that they thrive off having a big team i am not one of those people and that's okay there is no like one size fits all structure in this industry and one day maybe i will go the same route but right now it just doesn't seem the most beneficial option for me so 
yeah lots of people leave because of that some people leave just because they prefer to work alone i know a lot of people that are just like i would prefer to do all of this stuff myself or they really like to be in control of all negotiations and things like that some people are really really good at it so there can be multiple different reasons sometimes it comes down to your personal preference in how you like to work and how in control you like to be sometimes it comes down to being smart with your finances sometimes it comes down to changes in staff so if my manager's left and i got given someone new maybe we wouldn't work in the same way and then i'd want to go a different route there's lots of different reasons why that might be the case and you just never know but yeah coming back to the question i am still with my current management company i have zero plans to be leaving anytime soon i'm very happy with my current setup and i've just used the bobby brown long wear cream shadow stick in the shade taupe on my eyes i'm a big fan of this at the moment and then i've just set it with some of my charlotte tilbury bronzer wow which is looking a bit worse for wear at the moment someone's asked what kind of music do you like to listen to at the moment there's one playlist that i have especially on repeat there's a lot of different music that i like you can follow my playlist on spotify if you are ever interested but there's one that i love especially at the moment and it's called young and free it's real like poppy mixed with a little bit of pop punk vibes like just no it's actually a real mix of like lots of different stuff yeah i'm just really enjoying that playlist at the moment i listen to it literally every day in the gym but i love a lot of different stuff the uk rap playlist is like always one of my go-to's that was the charlotte tilbury magic concealer by the way in the shade six i'm gonna need a dark shade because it's really like washed me out so i'm gonna use the rare beauty contour stick now put some of that bronze back in some of that definition back in that the concealer has taken out i'm obsessed with this contour stick you can kind of go heavier or you can like go lighter and make it look really natural so someone has asked how is construction coming on the house and the answer to that is very simple in that it isn't so we have booked in for our garage renovation but that is not taking place until august so we've got a little wait honestly i don't know how people online just seem to be like okay we're gonna do this renovation and then they like click their fingers and the work starts being done because my builder is booked up until the end of the year and at the moment we are still waiting on a couple of things to be confirmed so that we can book in our loft conversion i am kind of hoping for early next year but i can't really say too much i'll like probably tell you like later down the line what we were waiting on yeah like in terms of booking it in we can't actually book it in yet i'm hoping for next spring for the loft conversion so it may be finished more like early 2024 like in terms of like finished like completely finished because obviously the construction starts but then once it's kind of done we need to like actually then start on the rooms i think i have showed the like planning for it in one of the vlogs but i am very excited because i'm basically going to take over there's a kind of like bigger bigger room it's not gonna be huge but it's gonna be like the larger of the two rooms i'm hopefully gonna take over and turn that into the wardrobe room because we're putting a staircase where my current wardrobe room is so sacrificing one bedroom to get two because i actually didn't want to put a staircase in my living room or like lose any of the bedroom because actually i want to put wardrobes in here as well that's also something that i need to get organizing because i would like to get that done fairly soon is have along this wall here i think i want wardrobes not this wall where my dresser is i don't know so yeah that is kind of where we are at the moment just a lot of waiting but very excited for that wall to finally start so i have a few career related questions and i thought i would kind of discuss them all together because they'll kind of one will kind of lead in to the other so we've got future career goals what does that look like in 10 years time do you see yourself making career moves away from youtube love your channel that's not a hint to leave and then we also have this doesn't sound like it would lump in but i'm gonna put it out there anyway trigger warning sensitive subject like that kind of vibe here we've also got do you want kids and i'm answering that in the same vain as the other two because i don't think i can answer one and ignore the other it would basically be ignoring a big elephant in the room but i always find the where do you see yourself in 10 years a bit of a weird one because if you had asked me at age 20 to talk about where my life would be when i was 30 i don't think this would be it it's never going to really be accurate and i know that's not maybe the point of this question but that always is something that bugs me especially being online someone's going to hold me to it and like 10 years time they'll be like but you said you wanted to be here and you're not here maybe i take this question a bit too seriously and it's just meant to be fun <laughs> that is just sums me up really is just taking everything a bit too seriously i 
go a bit more on how I want things to feel in 10 years and at the moment I in 10 years just want to be living a very peaceful relaxed life I mean that's kind of like lots of you will be like that's the vibe right now anyway and I totally agree but I want a continuation of that throughout my adult years where possible I don't want it to be a big like stress or struggle and it might be that in order to live a life that feels like that we maybe move a little bit further from where we live right now to an area that is a bit more affordable because if you don't know because lots of you are from so many different places in the UK in the world living down south I always say to people it's like the world's especially if you're self-employed, so you work from home, like fully work from home. Living in the South is the world's biggest scam. It just costs so much money to buy a house down here. And as someone who has a sibling that is currently moving up north, which I am both heartbroken and incredibly excited about for him, I am very aware of like the difference in the life that Ryan and I could have if we didn't live down South. So that's definitely something that is a consideration for our 10 year plan but you just really don't know i'm using the tom ford eyeliner by the way i don't know why i'm putting this much makeup on today it's very very unnecessary but yeah i know i want it to feel relaxed happy comfortable so that is kind of when i make moves at the moment that's with that in mind i know lots of people say this is where i want my career to be in 10 years but if you'd asked me when I was 20 where my career would be right now, I definitely wouldn't have ever guessed that I would be doing this. And I almost like to go with the flow a little bit more because sometimes if I decide I want to do something, I stick to it so much and become so rigid in that plan that it kind of doesn't leave other opportunities for like really great things to flourish. So I try not to be too rigid in terms of like a career sense or where I'm going to end up living, like what my future house looks like. If I still end up living here in 10 years, I'll be just as happy as if we sell this place in 10 years and then move maybe closer to my sibling. It all depends on what kind of happens, honestly. We're kind of so close to Ryan's family that I do think it would be really hard to move up north, but having my sibling and his family up there, it's gonna be a tough decision, but you just never know what's going to happen. So yeah, we like to just kind of keep that conversation and that door open just in case yet yeah, i basically have very relaxed plans for where i'm going to be living and then also in terms of my career for one because you just never know like the internet could implode tomorrow i think you know the economy is about to do some very fruity stuff i really can't predict how this industry is going to go during hard financial times i mean i'm curious af like i i don't really want this but I'm interested to see how it plays out so in terms of that i don't i really don't know how my job will look in 10 years time and also i don't know if we will have a family you just don't know if these things are i don't know if these things are possible right now to be honest it's not something that i have seen a professional about so i don't know whether children are on the cards but if they are then i would definitely say like the landscape of my job will look a little bit different maybe it won't maybe i would still continue to work full time maybe i wouldn't honestly who knows but i don't even know how much of that i would want to share online i just don't think you can say in advance like you only really know once you're in that situation how much you're going to want to share so i basically keep my career plan a bit loose because of that because i would hate to be like yeah i'm just gonna do this and then the time comes and i'm like that is the last thing I want to be doing right now. And then I have a bit of a crisis because I have been so hell-bent on one outcome that I now am like freaking out because I don't know what to do. Basically, I like to keep my options open because I genuinely don't know. Like lots of these things are very big variables. But yeah, to answer the last question, we would like to have children. However, don't, don't go on Baby Watch anytime soon because you'll be really disappointed and really bored. So yeah, is that a really boring answer? I just don't know. I wish I had something more solid to give you guys all i know is i am definitely like career wise life wise and definitely ready for some new challenges will i end up doing a house renovation running a new business and having children all at the same time i mean that just does sound like something that would happen to me it's like the last thing i would ever want oh just to catch you up on what i've done makeup wise because i got completely sidetracked i've popped on the rare beauty blush in joy onto my cheeks and now i'm just doing it with some charlotte tilbury 
bronzer bronzer wow and then i have also put on the kkw beauty lip liner in love and the nars air matte lip color in the shade surrender which i am obsessed with at the moment i had to do the love lip liner and then some of my fave nars gloss in chelsea girl or i do the air matte lip color in surrender and i really like those shades now i might just top up my brows because i did them before i went to the gym just sort of a bit bored waiting for Ryan. I only did the top today, so they look really thin and I don't know how I feel about that. Okay, brow gel. Let's do some other questions. How are you in life? There's a lot of how are you's actually. Honestly, I'm not really sure. I think because I am at that point where I'm like, I need a new challenge in life. Like I'm feeling a bit like I need something, I guess, because there's not really a lot going on house-wise, I guess. Like when house stuff is in full force, I definitely feel like challenged because there's obviously it's like quite new there's lots of stuff to go through and i do i do like to be kept busy i guess but yeah i'm definitely ready for like some newness in my life so i'm not really getting that at the moment but yeah i guess i'm feeling a little bit like restless but also still have that like anxiety hangover from all of the lockdowns and stuff like that so yeah and real anxiety over like the state of the world and all of that so that kind of weighs on me but then i also have my own personal anxieties about my life because i guess i don't really have much of a plan and where it's going and all of that so yeah just feeling a bit like wow slightly overwhelmed every day but also in need of a new challenge and that's a real contradiction it's a very strange one so that's kind of what i've currently got going on in my head is this like i feel overwhelmed but i want more of a challenge and those two like i think that is I need to remember this for therapy on Friday. That's where I'm at right now. So that's how I am. But other than that, feeling very peaceful, very much looking forward to my holidays. I haven't been abroad in so long, so it's just feels like such a blessing, privilege, whatever you want to call it, like such a luxury, I guess, to be able to go on holiday. So really looking forward to that. Just popping on a bit of my Surat blush just for fun at this point, because I'm still here answering questions. So yeah, other than my brain being weird, I'm doing really well. I'm doing really well. I feel like I am starting to get on top of things now and my feeling of overwhelmingness is starting to like die down a little bit but we'll see how I feel when I come back off holiday because I'll we'll probably come back off holiday, have loads to get on with and the feeling will start all over again. Do you like your fringe longer or shorter which is easier to style? I actually am preferring it shorter to be honest. There may be this situation where every time I go into the hairdresser it gets a little bit shorter. I actually, it's going to sound weird because I have never really had a fringe on YouTube before but actually when i started youtube i just finished growing out a fringe i think i used to have this i'll try and find a photo if it still exists online i used to have this really jagged fringe and i have very dark hair like almost black and it was like i wear it in big ringlets and i had this like jagged asymmetric fringe and i absolutely loved it and before that i had like a wispy fringe like alexa chung vibes i and before oh my god i had the lily allen like really short fringe i used to love a fringe i really am um, denied about getting a fringe unnecessarily basically but yeah i do find it very easy especially now i have the air wrap but someone has actually asked how i would style it without the air wrap so i'm going to show you that at the end just really quickly but yeah i'm finding them very low maintenance actually nowhere near as annoying as i thought they'd be when i like go outside because obviously brighton's very windy but in terms of like the overall aesthetic i love it because if my hair is just getting so long now like it's really long and if i'd have just left my front bits the same length it just yeah would have looked bad like real ginny weasley vibes and i'm not on that but i would say the air wrap makes it like a hundred times easier to be honest i say that maybe i'll change my mind when i do it without the air wrap later on we'll see any regrets in life i try i really try not to have regrets because i think everything that i've done has kind of got me to where i am now and i'm really happy in my life in general now i'm really really happy with literally everything wouldn't change a thing but the one thing that i would say to myself if i were like talking to myself like a few years back is leave unhappy relationships sooner and i understand why i didn't do that because i had to be really sure but yeah that is my one thing that if i could go back i wouldn't have stood for that for as long as I did so that is my only thing that I'm like mm, if I could change something just would have uh jumped a bit sooner what's the next handbag you have your eye on I would actually like a vintage classic flap it's one that I keep umming and ahhing over but I would really like one lots of questions on my hair color by the way guys I've done a whole video on like treatments I get done, what I get done to my hair, what I get done to my face. There was a filler question as well. I don't have filler by the way though. I just have like the leftovers of whatever I had done like four 
four years ago but yeah there's a whole video which i'll link at the top of the screen on like all of the treatments i get done like botox tan hair hair color hair cut all of that kind of vibe most expensive item you've ever lost slash misplaced i don't know i don't think i've ever actually lost something expensive um, is that a lie oh my birthday present from ryan Thanks for bringing that up. Yeah. Okay, I'm gonna leave it there and then I'm gonna answer the last question, which is how would you style your bangs if you didn't have the air wrap? So firstly, I'm gonna do what I do. It's basically the same technique, just the air wrap is like the lazy girl's version of this, I wanna call it, but the exact same technique, basically. Okay, so bear in mind, I actually have never done this, but here goes something. I've sectioned the long bits of my hair back, clipped it back. I'm gonna take my fringe all together, wrap it around my brush like this. So the hair goes over the top this way. And then I'm just gonna make sure the hair is like attached and start to roll it down like that. I'm gonna take my hairdryer and it's about to get very loud. And I'm just gonna blast it on a medium heat. And then after about like five, 10 seconds, depending on how quickly your hair takes to this kind of thing, if my hair just loves to curl, so I don't need to do it for that long. So it depends on how malleable your hair is. But after like five, 10 seconds, I then do a cool blast. So weird, it's so very different doing it with a hair dryer on yourself. So as you can see, <laughs> We have this situation and then I take the same amount of hair and put it under the brush, roll it through. Before I went from like over the top, I always go in the direction that the hair is going with the hairdryer. The hairdresser's probably gonna like watch me do this and be like, this is tragic, but bear with me. And then we just unroll it. What you can do is like roll it and pin it if you want it to really last. I kind of just hold it like this for a couple of seconds and then mm, it does this. Yeah, that is how it goes to begin with and then it like drops after a little while but I usually put my hair down. I always do the rest of my hair first normally. If I wanted this to really like hold, I would use hairspray but I only really do that if I'm like going out. If I'm just like at home for the day, I don't bother because it usually stays quite well up until I meet the wind <laughs> and then it doesn't. So I only really hairspray if I'm going out but yeah, that is how I would get the air wrap look without the air wrap it's basically exactly the same but ultimately lots of people ask for an air wrap update really love it and i'm kind of annoyed about it because i really didn't want to like i put off getting one for so long and actually i really don't style my hair that often at the moment i like air wrap it i think once when i have like first washed it i normally don't do it again the next day unless i've like slept really weird but i sleep on silk pillowcases so it tends to like really keep everything looking quite nice to be honest then i'll probably do it again a couple of days later if I don't have anything on and I'm just literally chilling at home, it's like a weekend or whatever, I literally don't touch it. And I haven't used my straighteners in so long. So unless I use my GHD curlers, I am literally using like minimal heat on it. And I'm so happy about that because I just think it's just going to really help it stay really thick and grow really like nice and quickly. So I'm hoping that will only help that over time and I'll end up with like really thick, super long hair. And just really happy with the air wrap in general because I think it's going to like make sure that my little fringy bits stay in good condition as well the only bit that i do do most days is my little fringy bits because i just like to but yeah that's my little hair update done i am ready for the day did i miss anything in terms of like product i put my charlotte tilbury powder on like a ton of that because i love powder which is something that i never thought i would say but yeah that is my current everyday makeup routine i hope you enjoyed it i hope you enjoyed me answering just a few questions just really quick fire i really didn't overthink those questions at all so sorry if it came out as a bit of a ramble but yeah i just thought since there have been quite a few new faces around here it would be nice to kind of just like have a little chat but yeah that is uh gonna be it from me this morning i hope you guys are all having the best day and i'll see you guys again very very soon love you bye